Hey guys, welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. I recorded the last episode not even 24 hours ago and I should be editing that right now, but I just couldn't wait any longer to jump back into the game. In the previous episode, we did not do any main activities. We had some random encounters in the world while getting to the trapper to sell the legendary bear pelt and also get this cool ass hat. Then we did the gunslinger mission with Black Bell and even though it was a little bit buggy, I still really liked that one. I really hope we're gonna see her again at some point because she was so cool. Then we discovered this huge town, St. Denny or something like that. I have some issues trying to pronounce it. Anyways, this town is so big and so beautiful. There's so many people in it and so much to do. We even visited a theater. We did some bounty hunting, which got us a lot of money. So we invested that pretty well into a fresh new outfit and a visit to the barber shop. To conclude all of that, we then went into a photo studio and took some pretty cool pics, even though Arthur had his eyes closed and pretty much all of them. And that is where we stopped at. I think today we'll be focusing a bit more on the main story and definitely travel back to camp to see how the gang is doing. But I also plan on doing some of the gunslinger missions as well. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to my channel members. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's episode. Let's get into it. Please help. What is happening? Hey, buddy. Hi. Need a doctor. Like a stranger to the Saint Denis doctor. Okay. Sure. Please do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Come on. Get on okay. the horse, Arthur. Oh my. Poor guy. What happened to you? We're nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? We're basically already there. Must stay away. Do not die on me. Where? Where am I? Come on, Arthur, talk to him. Keep him away. Okay, hopefully you're not. Because we're almost there. I won't forget this side. My arm. I can't feel it anymore. We're there, we're there. Come on, dude. Come on. Almost there. Hello? Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Come on, Arthur. He said quickly. I cannot run right now. Right here. Let me sit him down in this chair. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the Aww. matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh... Whoa. I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Are you going to let me be here? Sorry it's come to this. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, what did I expect? He warned me. Ooh. Hopefully this is an actual licensed doctor and not a cannibal. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Just into the bucket you go. Well, you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. That's all? I think it's time for us to head out. Poor guy. Wow. Okay. While we're at it, that is the perfect start of this episode. An amputation. I want to show you the plan for the beginning of this episode. We're gonna head to this. It is not shown right now because it's buggy. But this is another gunslinger mission, which was here like a second ago. And now it disappeared from the map. Sure. Hey, we got a proposition for you. What is it? Here it is. Fork over what you got. Really? All right, hop on down, nice and slow. I won't ask again. Get down. Oh, Now, what was that? What was the point of that? I thought y'all had really like some sort of side mission for me. Wait, what are you? Oh, it's so buggy. Damn it. You're a Morgan. Well, that fits perfectly. Because yep. I'm Arthur Morgan. What was that? Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? Hello? Sir? Hello, mister. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. Gavin? I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Gavin? Gavin! Well, hopefully we'll find him. Because I don't want to hear you scream ever again. I mean, oh. really? I am so worried. Gav! Can you tell me about Gavin? Gav! Uh, Gav! Like, is it a guy? Is it a horse? Where are you? Come on, girl. Where are you? I Not do not know. Wait, what is this place? Roots. And we're almost there. Apparently, this is where he lives. This is really worrying. Hey, mister. Hello. I mean, really. Y'all seen any Gavins recently? Maybe. Road station. I think this is where we go in. Hello, Hello gentlemen. Hello. Break. Whoa. Hello, sir. Hello there. Hello. Christ. Billy Midnight. Hey, Bonnie. Do we have a Bonnie? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Um, Billy Midnight. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of uh, Midnight Billy. 
Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him riding the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Oh. With the train to stall. Hey, mister. Should we get some tickets or something? Guess not. How do I know which one Hello. it is? Wait, where am I driving at? My horse! It's probably you. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. I see. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one said that- I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm <laughs> here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Huh? Mr. Midnight! Uh. Unbelievable! Where are you going? You did look that athletic to me. He ain't gonna you die. To me. Come on. Oh boy. I I did. Okay, I guess I gotta do it like really slowly. Pistol now. Head on the revolver. Was he supposed to die or like not? I don't know how to feel about this. Billy Midnight's head is not visible. Okay. Make sure his head is not obscured. That's gonna be hard. Did he shoot himself in the head? Man. That is just a very inconvenient spot for him to die, you know? Like, I'm not trying to jump off board. You know what? This should be good, right? Like that. Bill of Midnight, mission complete. I assume I was supposed to, like, not kill him, but he was supposed to end the job. During his past, has finally caught up to him. Billy Midnight flees to the roof of a moving train where he meets his fate. And where are we right now? We got back to St. Denis? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, I guess. Why not? What crime reported? Did I do? Wait, I didn't do anything. Block cannot see you. If you continue to evade them, they will eventually stop looking for you. Well, then I guess. We'll just continue evading, shall we? I didn't do anything, right? Is being on top of a train a crime? That would be silly. 
Are we at the train station? Well, there we go. Can we leave? Yeah, there we go. Never even been here. Senor? How about you, sir? I can take you just about anywhere. What? Take a ride? Coachman. Can I get a ride? Take a yeah. ride where? Is is that it? Did we unlock the fast travel thingy? Well, let's get back to the roads. Because it's first of all, it's not expensive. And second of all, I wanted to go from roads to the other gunslinger mission. Can I get so a ride into roads, please? let's do that. that ain't far at all. Good evening. What is it gonna look like? Wait, that is so cool. As a fast travel thingy in a game. This is really cool. I like it. Okay, here we are. Appreciate the ride. Thanks, man. See you around. Because we are here yeah. today for a very special occasion. Yeah. Woo it is yeah. important that we re-establish sanity yeah. and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh. and their <laughs> ludicrous Yo. ideas. Damn. But today... No, no. Stay on the dynamite. We grow yeah. one stronger. Yeah. As we anoint yeah. the new world. You know it. Into our Woo. sacred call. Yeah. Please, step yeah. forward and Woo. kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 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 All right. Come on. What the hell did I just stumble upon? Sorry, horses. I did. Um, I. <laughs> damn what did I just stumble into? I'm just gonna loot this place. I. I feel like I should get my. I feel like I should get something good for that. You know. Like my reputation should go up right now. Let's loot these fuckers. Let it to pop. Letter to Pa. Let's see. Dear Pa, I'm sorry I left the house in such a huff. For that, I must apologize, but the thing is, you are wrong. No offense, I simply do not care what Jesus or anyone else says. I am a student of science, and as such, and having read a lot into the subject, I have to assert my position against that co-mingling between the races is not merely wrong, but also dangerous. <laughs> what the fuck? But to be clear, this is not a position, but a scientific fact. Mm -hmm. I have read all of the research. Look at big cats. There are tigers and lions and leopards and things, and they are all different. So that sort of proves it. It literally does not. The same with trees. There is more than one kind of tree or colors. There's red and blue and so forth. So it is with races. White people like us to dominate and others to do work to which they are suited. What? 
This is science. I am done with school. I am sorry about the money you spent, but the place is full of fools. I am heading out west. I will make my fortune there and prove my theories correct. I am not an arrogant blowhard, as you so rudely put it, but a man concerned with saving the human race. I am sorry we parted on such terms, but I am afraid I have no patience for fools. And to hear you, mother and Teddy speak, well, I felt nothing but shame. And you all educated and white. Shame on you. Well, I am a man of destiny and I plan to prove it. Nothing will stand in my way from forming a white utopia full of people just like me. Right, so that came from you? Yup. A man of destiny. So pretty. What is that? A house. Down by the river? Or sea? Easy, easy. Hello? Hey! Let's see what's in here. You can just walk in. Okay. Lenny. Premium cigarettes. Cannot carry any more of that. Examine. There's a cigarette card. Wait, where? Oh! Large mouth bass. Alright. Fana of North America card set. We can take that. Anything here? Always check in the chimney after that one mission. So wait, there's actually people living here and we're just stealing from them? Ugh. What is it? Opened Miracle Tonic. Wardrobe. Hair pomade. Cover scent lotion. Well, oh! Chest. I'm so sorry to whoever lives in here. I'm just bringing some stuff back to camp, you know? Nothing personal. I think we might be done here. Well, that is... That is just gorgeous. Can we take a boat? Maybe at some point. But apparently not now. Whoa. Hey, buddy. I feel bad. I'm like, I shouldn't do that. Whoa, I thought you was already gone. Tell her. I never stopped. Whoa. I cannot read it that well. Dear Miss, whatever. I'm sorry. I said it. I'm sorry. You're right. I do let things get out of control in my head. I always have. I see that, but I love you. We are meant to be together. It is our destiny. I know it is. I saw it in a dream. Raising kids, you were happy as my wife, and I was proud to be your husband. Dreams don't lie, famously, and neither do I. I'm heading off to make my fortune, and when I come back, a rich man you'll see. What a fine husband I will make you, and a father to our children. And no, I won't grow up. On that subject, you're wrong. I've got so... I've got so what? So much longer to live or something? Man, I'm sorry that happened to you. 
You're just a silly guy. Damn. What's in here? Jin? Wait. Jin? There's open Jin? Right. Well, I guess let's take it. And then let's collect this one. We can't carry any more of this item. Didn't I just... Silver pocket watch? No! I didn't know there was a limit on those. Well, maybe the things don't res like despawn or something. And they just stay here. So maybe we can come back at some point. Yep. After selling the other watches. I honestly don't think so, but maybe. I think we're pretty close to the guy we're looking for. Yeah, I can already see it on the map. Oh! Should be somewhere here. Okay, I got my stuff with me. Here's trouble, all right. Piggy. Oh, the studying. The studying is so buggy. <laughs> Berkshire pig. Hey there. No. Nope. Hello. Don't like the look of it. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be is correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. I can help. Don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I can. I can do it. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit. I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean. I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. Rocks? And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. A scalp song. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Keep talking. Buried folks alive. One time, I... I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. By girly? a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Right. <laughs> Got, That's with a sloppy Got one. That information out of him. Get your back into it, boy. You ain't done. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. 
Ugh. Hell! Ugh. That stinks! <laughs> okay, I'll clean up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Calloway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You're really gonna do this, Arthur? You walk away right now. Oh. My. There I warned you. you. Go. I told you. You have been no. warned. No. No. Yes. You did not. You've got something. You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. Uh oh. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm going to enjoy it now. Draw. It's going to be the last thing you do. Are you okay, dude? First, I'm gonna loot him. Oh, and he even turned them around. That's great, because I need his face for the camera. Really? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can walk a little bit. I think the guy's not dead. By the way. Oh, that's just perfect. Smile. Camera's too far from Emmett Granger. Are you kidding me? That is clearly him. It could not be any clearer. I didn't want to do that. Wait, what is going on here? He took off my hat and my weapons. Now that's just not something you do. Big beans. All right, I think we've got everything we need. Are you dead? I can't just open this up for them. That sucks. Help! Open the damn lock, or give me the damn key. It's a stage company. Master, help! Hey, shut up. Let him go. Hey, hey, isn't that shit it is? Are you okay? You all right there? They ain't gonna harm you anymore. Mister. 
I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. You're so welcome. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. The lockbox who, like... Got that right. Drove off? It's old Driscoll's as well. Well... Lockbox. There it is. What is going on here? Um, lockbox? What just happened? That is a pretty big horse. Yorkshire. Okay, um... Yep. Lockbox. You mean that thing back here? Easy. Probably, right? No, wait, that's something else. Did the university send you? You know, yeah, sure. Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Whoa. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. <laughs> are they real? Of course they're real, you... Nincompoop. And everywhere... Nincompoop. Everywhere. <laughs> this state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Dinosaur bones. What? There is no way. A test of faith. Deborah McGuinness has requested your help in finding dinosaur bones. The location of each bone can be mailed back to Deborah from any post office. What? That is amazing. How freaking random and cool is that? American Bison. You know what? Maybe we should just down him. I'm so sorry, guy. I'm so sorry, dude. You're a big one. Skin American Bison. It's only one star. Damn it. Well, we got this. At least. Let's put this on here. And then I saw something else yeah. up here. Now, come on. There, the little house. 
Okay there. I wonder. Oh, inspect structure. Trading post. Trading post? Okay. That's cool, he just drew it. Wait, but while we're at it... We can look at what we haven't read yet. So Mary again. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. Her little brother Jamie had joined some religious order and needed saving, or so she and the god-awful daddy seem to have thought. I took him home. After a pathetic little squabble, poor boy, wonder what will become of him. Education and an unpleasant father have been a terrible curse on him, I fear. As for Mary, I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Oh, oh look at the heart! A eh? heart um. Oh, took a day off and went off hunting with Hosea. He really seems to be getting his strength back a bunch, although he was lucky not to die as this big bear he'd been after turned on us. I thought when we were stuck up in the mountains that the cold and the misery would just kill him and we'd bury him like we buried Jenny and Davy, but he pulled through and he'll live a while yet. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways I love Hosea even more. He's kind and fair and like a human being. Dutch is something else. This bear was also something else. Size of a goddamn hotel. It was and mean with it. The bear. Oh. Black Belle. What a woman. If she was younger and I was in the market for a woman to go killing with, what a pair we could have made. She told me old boy Calloway was a poser and a liar. Big surprise. Guess Billy Midnight never escaped his past. Guy was deranged about shooting some fella in the back or in their sleeve or something else. Very sensible in my opinion. Anyway, Field had consumed him, so like a real proper gentleman, he tried to kill me. Met Emmett Granger. I cannot think of a single man I have enjoyed seeing dead more than this bastard. Okay, that confirms that he died. Pig shit and a hatred and he still threw a knife at me. Met a lady scientist, there were something or other. Seemed to be more mad than sane, but I don't have much frame of reference for scientists. Wanted me to see if I could help her find dinosaur bones and send her the details. Maybe. And then we got this. Show gang savings. Wait, okay. I see. And uh, that is it. I mean... Let's get off the horse and see what's in here. Assorted biscuits. Assorted biscuits. Maybe we should eat some. Assorted biscuits. There we go. Slightly resource health for. You know what? That's perfect. Because I was lacking a bit in that department. But only a little bit. Rifle cartridges, canned pineapples. That's nice. Venom. Here. Let's give him a health cure. I ain't sucking any venom out of here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Now I, I gotta get out of here. The hell? Where did my horse go? Should I like bring Don't you somewhere? Don't much around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Okay then, girl. All right. 
clar, cu ce tare. Hey, Good to see you back. You got guard duty again? Are you? I like it. But he was pee. I ain't gonna dissuade you from that. I am finally returning to camp. Can y'all believe this? Easy. Whoa. I am back. Uh, hi. There he is. It's only a poor buy some pelt. I think we might just sell it to Pearson. Mr. Strauss. Hey, fellas. Trade skins for some whiskey. Why don't you? How are you? You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Well, stop acting like it. Me and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. <laughs> you girls you have beautiful hearts. Really, you do. I don't know about that. Abigail. But we care about you. No, don't jump. Life is worth living. No matter how shitty you are. Are they together or just like together because kid? Anyways. No matter how shitty he is, you can do this, Abigail. Donate. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Or buy some pelt. Prime beef joint. There should be some real good eating. There we go. You can also have. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Like this? I'll keep it like that. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Crafting hey, upgrades. You could give me some leather working tools. Satchel. I can make some rugs and blankets and the like. Precious leather working tools at the ledger. Okay. Upgrade the medicine wagon okay. twice at the ledger. Oh, let's see. Give all deaths. Right. Don't know how many we've collected. Nice. Punch boot. Give money. Um, let's see. We have four hundred sixteen dollars right now, and I want to give a hundred of that to the camp. Yay! Leather working tools. If we have some better tools, you can make extra gear. Should we go for the leather working tools? I think so, right? Pearson can now craft upgrades for your satchel. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay? Alright. I just wanted to say... I'm sorry about your husband. Your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. So still not over it, I see. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Hey, Pearson. Oh my. Come on, who's gonna play? Be brave. Oh, I'm gay. You're what? Wait, what? 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 Well, that's not true. I do know why. I thought Pearson was gonna play. Okay. I see now what's happening. We're gonna leave there. 
Right, crafting upgrades. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Satchel. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right We're gonna materials. bring him perfect deer pelts, perfect elk pelts, perfect panther pelts. Oh my, I see. Hello? Hey, Orator. When can't talk to him. How you think you'll act? I ain't giving him much thought. Well, I have. A lot. I think we'll be okay. But then again, well, maybe not. We are all just creatures living, as it were, on a sea of magma. All, all right. Is temporary. Ain't no souls. I think you should go to sleep, Ain't Dutch. Nothing. But this. I guess I plan on leaving with a hole shot in me. That's all? Just... Fun... Nighttime stories. Love to see it. My lady. Uh -huh. My lady. Hold still! Pearson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't that. <laughs> Bill! <laughs> oh, Alright, go on. <laughs> It ain't like you got balls anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough. Bill. Hello, Arthur. Really, I was. I forgot that I was doing God's work and began to think that I was the God. What a fool. What a terrible, arrogant fool I was. A man of God. And then I met that little sticky black devil. Those little lumps of hell. Just a little back pain. Oh, this will make it feel better. A gift from the gods. And then it got me by the throat. You all know that. You all laugh at me, pity, and despise me, I'm sure, but forgive me. At least forgive me, because all the silly things I do, all the lying and the stealing, somehow it isn't me. Or if it is, it isn't all of me. There's a different, better me stuck inside of here. Dutch sees it. And that's why he puts up with me when I'm sure the rest of you would cast me adrift. And that's why I love him. Because he can forgive. Even when I can't forgive myself. Is he drunk again? What did y'all say? It's not too cold and uncomfortable. You awake? What do you want? I've forgotten what it was now. I need sleep. Well, maybe we should get some sleep as well. Good morning. One night when I was frisky, he's drunk again. Whiskey, like waves on the bay of Bisky, I began to tumble and roar. Wait a second. It said we had a new journal. Hell and broke my poor knobster. 
Uh, watch from my uh, fob was picked, sir. Uh, Wait, not. You're drunk anymore. Yeah. Hey, there's more. Uh, I'm resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shut the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us he made all the jolly good fellas. But I by the poker and bellas. I'll never get drunk anymore. I can tell. Can we say something to him? Hornady. The Lord blesses us this morning. The drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just a swift one? Well, it's your life, not mine. You got it, Mr. Morgan. Oh, boy. Before we go on and do any main stuff, I really want to go here. I don't know if it's such a good idea because this is a very long travel. But why not, right? I really want to complete the Gunslinger missions because I don't know how long they're available for. Are y'all okay? Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Hey, partner! Are the boys okay? Wait, look what at this! What to you two? Cowering like dogs. You wouldn't give us no guns, Pa. This is the worst idea I've ever had. Look at the house. With you on that. Well, don't let me They've done so you. much progress. I'm so proud of y'all. All right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home. Oh, Driscoll. You pay up or we keep up. What you scared of? Uh, we pay to get out of this, friend. You two can win a fair boys. fight, that it? Looks like you need a lesson. <laughs> Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave. <laughs> Bet you're rethinking your choices now. Soft as silk. <laughs> Dude, stop it. Oh, Driscoll's a Get it? Felt like air. That boy's a real loon. Wasting my time. I've been killing you fools since before I could remember. You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. You're so welcome. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you and less of them damn old Driscolls. I'm, well. I'm, I'm going to see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really? Yeah. We are in Valentine, but there's new stuff we can do. I do not think we were able to watch a show. Ooh. 
Wait, how cool is that? Welcome, after a ticket. Oh, it's... It's 50 what? 50 cents, I'm assuming. Ticket for one, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. What kind of shenanigans are gonna await us here? Oh wow, it's a movie. Folks, I'm gonna tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now oh, no. he had to eat them. But no! he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed no! and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's Chunky? told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. <laughs> snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened, frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Unbelievable. Well, that was awesome. We got a barber shop. Wait, ain't that new as well? Dude. Oh, let's hitch the horse. Okay, sure. Wait. Hey there. Got something new for me? No? I got a hard. Where are you? Same Excuse spot, me. huh? Excuse me, but I need some money. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed, because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. I, I figured. It's a fine name. A strong name. 
Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yeah, yes, you could. Enjoy the morning, mister. And you're just gonna go straight back into the bar. We'll no way. Hey, mister. How goes? It's hey, okay. hey! He knows I'm gonna pay him. That's why he came up to me. Okay, I, I, I've gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry. You're so sweet. I wish we could have pets in this game. Maybe we can. Maybe I just didn't progress far enough. But also it would be pretty heartbreaking if they just end up dying. I'll just get back to it. Do we have a new bounty here? Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. Ellie and Swan. Sure. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. Bounty poster for Ellie and Swan. $25 reward. It's not too good, not too bad. A reward of $25 will be paid for the arrest of Ellie and Swan, wanted for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner. Wanted alive for questioning. Known as the Black Widow, she has been seen in the Cumberland Falls area with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. All information or reward claims to be addressed to Sheriff C. Malloy, Valentine Sheriff's Office. That one? Let's go get her. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. All right. Pound him to hell. Morning, sir. Not at all what I was planning on doing. But we'll get to the gunslinger mission eventually. Don't worry, y'all. Justice will be served in this town today. Yeah, justice needs doing. You took three right. innocent lives. And for that, the law demands that you shall pay oh, with your own. No, please, God, no! Please, please no. let me go. Do you have any last words before you meet your judgment? Yeah, I wish I could kill them all over again. I love you, baby. Be good, son. Can I intervene? Do something? We will not tolerate detritus like this in our community. Justice prevail today. Don't you look at him, boy. Just run home. Yeah. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna leave her alone. Arthur is not the best in talking to women who just lost their husbands. Dude, you have to leave. Yep. Mrs. Swan, you like to come along with me? 
Elian, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the fella. What kind of man are you? Puny, backstabbing little. Oh, you what? are useless. Uh, to save me. What the hell? No more. See, bitch. Stop this monster. Okay, now. The hell are you doing? How did you think this was gonna You're go? Good, you, you just killed a dude pistol. in front of me. Now, come here. And hurt me as well. In hell. Rot with the Shut up. Let's loot her. What do you got on here? Just isn't your day, is it? 34 cents. Okay, well. A necklace, at least. Don't you manhandle me? I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I wanna do. On you go. This could get bumpy. Okay then, girl. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Is he alive? Oh, a brother. Well, he's already dead. Gold wedding ring. Well, in second bourbon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anything else? An apple. Where's the apple? An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but apparently not a crazy wife. Poor guy. Wish we could have saved him somehow. So, you're gonna talk? Like all of them do? Oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm Crazy. I'm a blue girl. We're really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Sure. Don't you, mister? I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. You don't say. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail. A jail ain't where I belong. No, you should be hanging. Sanatoria, maybe. Nah. -uh. Get me help, Mister. Please save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, bitch, from myself. Be quiet with that. I'm gonna save you from yourself. I mean, one dead husband, huh? You don't know what happened between them, you know. But two, three, You're such four. A strong man. So tough and. Early. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. I don't my think... My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? She's crazy. Like a shit. I wish I'd cut your belt. This the help you're looking for? We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You're done for now, you idiot. <laughs> Arthur, how do you manage to do that? Like, I'm just seriously confused. Hello. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. 
She lost another feather out by the falls. Lost. Poor dear. Men just got a hell of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Now, I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Thanks. 25. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women. I'm sure she could find herself. <laughs> Ellie Ann Swan. Ellie Ann Swan is wanted for the crime of matricide. She's reported to have an unknown male accomplice. Accomplice. Now I know what they were talking about. Right. Husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. Oh, that okay. man has a heart of stone. It's yep. silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. Just and to think, the two you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you me, was charmed officer. by another. Back up there. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria. Don't you dare mention Moira again. Now hush. <laughs> Bitch is gonna hang you. Oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> right. I I'm just gonna leave. Remedies. How do you do? Howdy, partner. First time? I only keep select items on the shelves. Were we able the to rob him? And the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. I think there was an option to rob him. Some shops run an illicit business on the side. Exploring around a shop or getting a tip from a stranger makes both the shop's unusual activities. Right, we've looked through a window and do? saw the unusual activities you can drop any shot by aiming your gun at the clerk back so soon oh you're about to find out i'm not about to sell to you with that mask let me Just... into that back room of yours right now sir please you don't want to get involved with them i promise you with them you make them open up or you're a dead man Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. <laughs> Looks like a nice little business you got going. Arthur! How much money is that? Where won it? Fifty dollars? Ah! Bitch! I wanted to spare you, but now I do not care. Uh, search drawer. I'm not. Shit! The move. Nah, that's fine. You're never gonna know who I am. I gotta, uh... Wait, we can loot? Uh, I got a bandana on. What 
the hell hey, happened stand here? Stand down. I'm gonna kill you. What are you doing, Arthur? I'm sorry, it was not supposed to happen like that. Ranger's revolver. Okay, I see. Is there anything else to loot here? Man. All right, let's take it, it was up. a safe. Can't open the safe. No hesitation, just kill him. Are we gonna He's inside, man? Are we gonna end up going outside? I can't open this up. The window? Ooh. Oh. That's them. Take them down. Damn it. That's a big ass Bonnie. Damn it. Was it worth it? I don't know. <sighs> yep, that. Bingo. As planned. Law searching. Ain't the bounty still on me, though? Even if they're not gonna find me? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we're gonna wait here for a second until that runs out. There we go. The law are no longer pursuing you, but your crimes won't be forgotten. If you're spotted by a lawman in a red area, you will be wanted again. All right, but we can just go ahead and pay the bounty, right? Okay. Let's go. Hello. Don't annoy me. No. Don't point that at me. Do not point that at her. I'm only joking with you. At least it's over. What a nice joke. A cigarette card. Dr. Haw Thorns? Hello. Uh, all due respect, you better remove that mask before asking for serp. It's here. Sorry. There, no mask. Thank you. Things go a lot more efficient when everybody obeys the rules. Man, I don't want to pay it, but I just know that I, I just probably should do it, right? We still got Glad over three hundred dollars, so it's fine. I just wanted to be a little silly. Hey, Mister, help me! My horse died, and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, Mister. Okay, sure. Oh, I can help. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Bitch. Gracias por tu caballo. Nice try. I wanted to help you out, stupid little bitch. Oh, don't go riding off. He had one dollar. Horse. 
I swear. Come on, girl. Yep. <sighs> I've bonded so much with these two horses, the boy and the girl. I know they're not the best horses in the game. And they're probably below average, but I love them so much. And I have also the max bond on them as well. So I'm just gonna stick to them. Oh no, this is... Probably something a lot of you won't appreciate. But I don't know. I just really like my two horses. Also, I switched to the Winter Gunslinger outfit because it's gotten cold. Hence why Arthur is looking like that again. We're almost there. I can already see it on the mini-map. Easy, easy. Can I just... Search the camp. Why the music? Hey, who's that? You're in the wrong camp, stranger. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. I'm gonna leave my horse here so that it doesn't get hurt. And now I'm gonna show you what I do with horse killers. I mean... You attack me first. I just wanted to talk. Well, wouldn't you want to know? I can explain. I feel kind of bad because this whole gang is dead now. Flacco Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. I'm unarmed. Are you, though? <coughs> well, King Gallagher. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Oh, stop it. I don't want to kill you. Man, I just can never talk to these people in peace, can I? Blackos revolver. Now we have all of the revolvers. So, the guns, when I put them down onto the ground, they don't actually disappear, right? I saw one comment explaining that they're stored somewhere. Don't remember exactly where. I think in some weapon locker. All right, Fernando. This went terribly wrong. What? A self-portrait? I'm sorry, but what? Um, take photo. There we go. Come on, Arthur. No, no, no. Yep. That was not for Fernando. <laughs> that is not too far. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? There we 
we go. Drawn out of his cabin, the outlaw Flaco Hernandez fights a duel. I mean, he attempted to fight a duel. Let's not... Sure, coat. Lockbox. A document. Wait. You've discovered the treasure map. Open your satchel to look at the map and solve the clues to find the treasure location. But let's just get to be... That rock... Looks very suspicious. What else is here? I am not able to look in there. Sorry, Flacco. This really didn't need to happen. Big plane. Plane big game. You know what? Actually, yes. Because I just saw Arthur is a little bit underweight. So let's fix that up. I think I forgot to loot him. Hey, buddy. I, I can't loot him. Okay. There we go. What do we have here? Let's take a look. Hello? We've got a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Oh, a talented ice skater's career cut short in terrible accident. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there's a cart. Oh. Oh, it's the ice skater. Oh. World Champions card set. I see. Just so you know where we're heading right now, I want to go back to Valentine and try to find and talk to the guy. He gave us these gunslinger missions. Because it's not marked on the map, but I figured maybe since we did all of them, yeah. he'd be willing to talk. Easy. You're okay. Oh shit, oh shit. He died. Great. Okay. Hey, buddy. Grizzly bear, one star. I... I only hit his face. Ugh. Thanks. Does anyone live here? Mm. 
What is that? Otis Miller and the Arabian Prince. I guess, let's take it. Can't carry any more of this item. A ladder. A ladder to Glen. Ladder to Glen and Eddie. I've gone to track down those men and get our money back. The door's locked and the windows are boarded or shut. Promise me you won't answer to nobody who comes calling, even if you think you know them. There's enough food and water for four days or more, but I should be home by tomorrow night at the latest. Practice your reading and writing for me. Oh, my love, mama. Wait. Now I feel- Whoa! Fuck! I think they opened the door. Yep, I, I probably, I probably could have figured it once I walked in here. Wow. Well, that is terrible. But there's a cart in here. There's- wait, there's two carts in here. Thanks. World Champions card 11. And... World Champions card 2. Right. I think we might be done in here, and I'm very glad. Because that is just depressing. Hello! Stop it! Think I'll have another drink? And then go see your wife! All right. Well, I guess. Come on. Okay, girl. So. What will I do to you? I ain't moving. Can I help what the hell is your problem? Get off the horse. You ain't scared nobody. I'm in a fight mood. Is what you want, huh? What do you want? What a sight. <laughs> Oh, what? What did I do to deserve this? Missionary, this ain't my trouble. Need to be included. Huh? Everyone's just walking out. Never mind. I have the time off work now, and the doctors got me on some mighty fine. Whew, whatever it is. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? Hey, you look familiar. Hey, Wallace. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. Oh, the, those are <laughs> the, the two. One that gave you the no. medicine when the snake got you. No. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend. <laughs> what do you know what I that is? I never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item? What? On my tab. To claim uh, a single free well, item, go to the Valentine right. gunsmith yeah, now. Seems like the least I could do. With Whoa. him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Hey, yeah. what can I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find I want to get a like, rifle. I'll put it on his tab. Okay, I see. Sawed off shotgun. Yeah, I wanted to get a rifle since we don't have one. These are all locked. Springfield rifle. I think we're gonna get the War Mint rifle. Since I'm seeing in the lock with the animals that if you want to get a perfect kill on them, you should probably use a War Mint rifle. So let's 
Fine choice. Get the one. I'll let him know. Bye now. Also, it's free. So, you know, let's take a look at the scope. No scope. Short scope, medium scope. You know what? That is something I want to invest into. Especially when hunting, I feel like that is probably something I should be doing. All right. Well, thanks. So now I just have it. Thanks, man. I'll let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. I will make you wish you back. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I'm trying to get to the bar to ask the barkeeper if he's seen the guy from the missions. You're gonna stop messing about. Me? He came out of the bar swinging. Another one. I dare you. I dare you. Fine. So Food, drinks. Can I help you with? Can't talk to him about anything. Listen, that your fella? The old one? Yeah, he's mine. Well, you better watch out for him. He's looking for a knife in his belly from some of the boys here. Oh. Well, at least he told us about that. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm going to be stopping this episode here. I know, I know. I said at the ending of the previous episode that I will be focusing on main missions in this episode. And I also said it at the beginning of the intro of this episode, but it just did not happen. I got carried away once again because there's just so much to do in this game and i really didn't want to stop exploring and doing the gunslinger missions i really wanted to finish those up because i was scared that they're gonna disappear at some point but i can guarantee you that now that i'm not seeing anything else on the map except for those two main mission quests that will definitely be doing them in the next episode i'm also pretty sure that if we continue progressing the main story we will unlock new side stuff so i'm very very much looking forward to that my birthday is in two days so i don't know how and when i'll be able to edit the previous episode in time i will try to do my best hopefully it's gonna be up very very soon and definitely while i'm saying this you've already probably seen the previous episode and if not then what are you doing here? Go watch the previous episode. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for continuing to join me on this journey. I love this game. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.